taking what's been in my brain and making it like a thing other people can see. I'm so excited for this. All right, so I got a message from Phoebe. Ah, ah, ah. She's mostly done with Annalise's portrait, so she's wanting me to see if there's like any final changes I need to make before we do our collab and like everything's posted. And so I thought I would just capture my reaction. I'm freaking out. Okay, how do I do this? <laughs> Already just a little bit looks so good, okay. Oh my God. Hey guys, I'm Kate. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm very excited because I have a collab with my very good friend Phoebe over at Phoebe Wood Writes. And I think this is going to be so fun. One, because Phoebe is incredibly talented. And two, because I get to share a little bit more about my main character, Annalisa, in my Meridian Maps series. Because it is a series. There's gonna be five books. I hope. <laughs> so this is actually part one of the collab. The rest of the collab will be over on Phoebe's channel and I definitely recommend you check it out so you get to see the final product. I guess, the final outcome, I'm so excited. I've always loved the idea of having art of one of my characters done and this is just like making my dreams come true. <laughs> so question number one is actually describe your character. What do they see when they look in the mirror? So my main character, Annalisa Renaud, is female. She's about 16 years old. She has black skin and black curly hair. She frequently has to put her hair back either in some form of a tie or a bandana in order to get it out of her face when she's working. In our terms, I think the curls are like a 3B and they go down past her shoulders. And her eyes are a little bit more hazel than a deep brown, but somewhere in the middle there. A recurring problem as she's doing all of these acts of piracy is actually her height. She is quite small. I'm thinking like five foot like not a whole lot, doesn't weigh much. And so over the course of the series, she's getting stronger and stronger, but she never does really get taller or bigger. So this is something that she's having to go up against people that have more power than her and are actually physically bigger than her. And she has to outsmart them in order to achieve her goals, basically. It's very heisty and she's quite good at the heists. At the start of this series, she looks really young. Her skin is very like dewy and fresh. And toward the end of the series, she, she, she gets some scars, we'll say. Question number two is what clothing does Annalisa wear and how does she express herself through her style? In her home island of Montsoria, she acts as a servant for the queendom and so she wears her like servant's gown, which is a dress with a lot of pockets. It actually comes up above the knees and it's quite flowy because it's very, very hot in Montsoria. And she mostly traverses to and from her home and from the palace in that gown. But aboard the pirate ship, she's actually having to like roll a bunch of the pants and the clothes because they don't have anything that fits her and as the series progresses she slowly gathers more stuff slash potentially steals more stuff from other people <laughs> that fits her better. Most of her clothing is more functional than it is fashionable and it's not really a big deal to her to express herself in any sort of way other than how she can put on an appearance so that she can gain favor into different locations. That's what we'll say. Question number three is what member of Annalise's family does she most resemble and how does she feel about that? So poor Annalisa actually looks the most like her mother and her personality is the most like her mother, but her mother ran away when she was younger and she has some issues revolving that relationship and that dynamic. She lives at home with her father and her sisters are a fair amount older than her, but they look more like her dad than she does. And yes, <laughs> she's not particularly happy about it. But by the time the series starts, it's more people telling her she looks like her mother than her really remembering what her mother looked like versus what she looks like now as she nears adulthood. Question number four is what do they hide or disguise about their appearance? Annalisa attempts to hide or disguise just about everything. After she's labeled a traitor in Monsoria, she's on the run with pirates and so she's constantly having to disguise herself. Anything that she can change so that people don't catch on to her, she will. She's very aware of what the like wanted posters or something would say that she looks like and she's constantly trying to make sure that she's not caught. Question number five is what item, if any, does Annalisa carry with her and what's her most prized possession? Annalisa, having completely run away from home, doesn't have a lot of prized possessions with her. 
but one that she lost and potentially finds again, totally not a spoiler, it's fine, <laughs> is actually a necklace that she made with Princess Quinta, her best friend and the only tie she really feels like she has to Monsoria anymore. And it's something that they made as children. It's a small chain with a wire pendant that they've kind of bent and welded into being the steering wheel of a ship and adding in some shells that they found along the shoreline. This is also one of the few good memories she has with her mother when her mother helped her and Quinta put it together. For a lot of the series, this acts as the item that Annalisa keeps with her to remind her of home and maybe potentially makes her debate what home even is. All right, I am filming this having not seen the final product, but I cannot freaking wait. I will be in the comments on both Phoebe's video and my video down below to let y'all know how freaking ecstatic I am about this. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please do check out Phoebe. She's incredible. And please do comment down below. Let me know if you sketch your own characters. I have attempted in the past, but because I can't even do stick figures right, it's, it doesn't really help me. It doesn't really work. <laughs> and please also let me know if you've ever gotten fan art, if you've ever drawn fan art, or how you like to get to know more about your characters. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon with the new video. Bye! Question number six are what? <laughs> Question number seven is what assumptions are... Question number seven is what are some... Blah, blah, blah.